Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And first things first, I just wanna say thank you so much to Milanote for sponsoring today's video. Now, as you guys know, I have been tackling room makeovers in my home for the past year. Okay, it's been a process, I'm still not done. However, it started off with my bathroom, which I think I turned from like a pretty bleh, boring apartment bathroom into something that's very nice and very my style. I still love that space so much every time I look at it. And then I moved on to my bedroom, which is here I am right now. And I turned it from something very, very basic and undecorated to this boho bedroom that I absolutely am in love with. And then the most recent makeover that I completed was my kitchen makeover. And that one was by far the hardest makeover that I did, but I really, really loved how it turns out. And I love going around in my apartment in those three spaces so far they're looking exactly my style and I'm very very proud of them now because of those videos I have had many many people reaching out to me and asking to pay me to decorate or design their space and I am just like not a professional here okay I'm just like a girl who figures random stuff out with like my drill and my one saw and like 25 paintbrushes, okay? I am not a professional, so I don't feel comfortable taking on that type of project. However, I thought today we would like dip our toes a little bit in that area and I will pick a few of you to do virtual room makeovers for. I'm thinking now my real intention with this video is actually to just show you my process so that you can learn how to design a full-on room makeover the same way that I do so I'm gonna take you through the entire process of coming up with inspiration through to like creating a mood board and then I am going to really test my seventh grade self-taught Photoshop skills and see if I can mock up some room designs for you. We will see how this goes. First things first, I am going to post, I think, to Instagram to see whether or not some of you will send over some pictures of your spaces that you'd like a room makeover for, and we'll go from there. So I have my phone. I'm going to make an Instagram story right now, and um, this is a great time for me to say that if you're not already following me over on Instagram, I'm at DIYDelia with an underscore at the end. Please check me out over there. Okay, so the message is out over on Instagram and while I wait for a few of you to get back to me with your room pictures, I just want to explain a little bit about this whole process, okay? So room makeovers often are very overwhelming just because you tend to get a lot of different ideas and to put them into one cohesive space can be a little bit challenging, a little bit overwhelming and this is where Milanote actually comes in so I've been using them for a little while now and I find them unbelievably helpful so I'll just give you an example here this is the mood board that I created for my bedroom and as you can see it very much so gives you the feeling of exactly what my space is like and the whole Milanote experience can be used to create beautiful mood boards but also so many other things like project plans beat sheets I actually use it for managing each of my YouTube videos and it is unbelievably helpful now I'm gonna be showing you throughout this video just how much I love using them they are honestly such a game changer to my entire creative process so after you observe how awesome they are if you want to check them out for free you can do so by clicking the link in my description box okay so I will be back in a minute when I have a couple rooms to make over and we'll go from there okay cool Okay, and we're back. So the first subscriber space that I'm gonna be making over belongs to a girl named Georgina. And I will show a little tour of what she sent me right here. This is her bathroom. She described it as very standard, plain and boring. And she said that this bathroom is just off of her kitchen and that it's the bathroom that guests use when they come over. So she wants it to be prettier. Now looking at the photos, I do think that Georgina has like a pretty typical builder type bathroom. And I think that it just needs a little bit of spice added to it and you'll be golden. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is find inspiration and I'm going to actually create in Milanote an inspiration board so I can just keep track of everything. Find inspiration, I typically will go to Pinterest so I'm gonna do that right now. And I start with searching a million and one things. So I'll start by maybe typing half bath design or small bathroom design, powder room design, boho bathroom, 
neutral bathroom, sage bathroom. Like I will just search many, many different things to get all sorts of ideas. And anything that I particularly like, I am saving to my Envision board. And Milanote actually makes this really easy to add because they have a browser extension. So anytime you're browsing the internet, you can just automatically send things to the board that you want in Milanote. So keeping track of it is like on another level. It's so, so handy. So as I get more and more detailed in my searches, I start to kind of gravitate away from Pinterest to actually go and find specific products. So for example, I'll go to Amazon or I'll go to Google and I'll search an arch mirror. That's something very, very specific that could go in this space. So if you just give me a minute, I will come back to you in a second when I have like a general vibe that I've kind of pulled together, okay? Okay, so I'm back and I think at this point I actually have a decent amount of things that I'm inspired by. So I'm gonna go ahead and make an ideas or an inspiration board. So this first section here is going to be all about the pictures that I think represent the overall vibe of the bathroom. So as you can see here, it's very neutral, it's very light and it's airy and it has a couple industrial accents. For the main accent of the wall, I feel like we should go with something a little bit bolder than just a plain paint color. I feel like maybe wallpaper or board and batten. I also then looked at what kind of upgrades you could do to the existing vanity. I'm gonna recommend painting it and I'm thinking I'm going with a hunter type green, not hunter, maybe an olive green. She should swap out the handles for some nice accent handles and finally replace the sink basin, which I looked into it. I believe you can replace the sink basin with something that's just a little bit sleeker. And I feel like those changes all together will also be at a fraction of the cost of replacing the whole unit. Now for the color combo of hardware and accents that are happening here, I'm thinking that maybe a mix between black and gold will be nice. And then for some cloth accents here, we're gonna have a obviously a hand towel as well as a little rug that brings in some pinkish, orangey-ish, reddish colors. So as you can see, I have pulled in all my ideas and organized them into this one inspiration board. Obviously you can keep updating it as you go along. Very, very helpful to have all the ideas segmented in the right space, but in a place where you can see everything. So since I have this done, I'm now going to go ahead and make a mood board. Now Milanote actually has templates for the mood boards and they are unbelievably helpful and easy to work with. So I am just going ahead and I'm plopping in different aspects that I love of this bathroom and I think it's gonna come together very, very well. Okay, so I spent a little bit of time here doing the mood board and it's ready. So I am going to give you a little look-see. So we have the board and batten wall, the green vanity. We have some black and gold accents. We have that curved mirror. I also made sure to add in a little swatch of her floor to make sure that all those colors are gonna go together. Now within Melanote, you can link boards that you've created, add to-do lists, color schemes, comments, and so much more. It's very, very handy. So now that we have our finished mood board, I'm going to move on over to Photoshop and attempt to bring this design to life. I hope I can do this justice. As a refresher, these are the photos that we have to work with, and I'm just going to design over top of this. Okay, so we have the initial design and I am going to brighten up the walls, first starting with the left wall, making it bright white. Next, we're going to add in that board and batten. I'm then gonna go ahead and add in some window trim as well as a blind. And for the blind, I'm recommending a bamboo blind. Next, we're gonna tackle the vanity. So for that, I think she should paint it. So we have the green vanity. And for the cabinet handles, some nice fancy handles on there. These are all from Anthropology. We're going to go ahead and add a new sink basin in there. So the faucet's gonna be black, a nice charcoal soap dispenser. This one's from H&M, as well as a black mirror. And this arch one is from Home Depot. Next, we're gonna add some more gold accents. The light, which is from Amazon, I believe. We're gonna add in a vintage rug, as I mentioned, it looks very, very nice. And then for artwork, I got some prints off of Etsy and they are just some very basic minimal prints that match that green color. You wanna bring the colors upwards. So moving on to the next angle that we have, we're gonna clear out the walls again. 
boom, some white walls. And then voila, you have all the stuff that we previously already added in. And then we're just going to add in that brass or gold towel holder, a nice orangey pinkish hand towel, the little reflection in the mirror. And that, oh no, one more thing. I was gonna say that's the end. No, we add back in her planter. Angle number three, we're gonna update the walls to be white. Add in that board and batten because it's gonna go around the whole room. Add in that window covering, as I mentioned, it's a light bamboo color and all the trim. And this is perfect for this space here. And then this is the last perspective, which is the perspective of the right side of the bathroom. And for that, I am going to add in some white walls, that board and batten. And finally, we're gonna add in some complimentary art prints. And this is a color that is going to match well to um, the hand towel as well as the vintage rug and the black frames I think go perfectly as well. So here you have it you guys. This is the before and after of Georgina's bathroom. I think we did a fantastic job coming up with inspiration, turning that into a mood board and creating these end designs that are just stunning. I feel like I would be really happy to have a bathroom like this. If I wasn't a renter, I would totally do some major upgrades just like this one. They're totally DIY friendly. So Georgina, I hope you really like your virtual room makeover and to all of you, I hope that you enjoyed this first makeover experience. So very quickly, we're going to do one more room makeover. This one is going to be for a subscriber named Mahima and she sent me over these pictures of her bedroom. She said she just recently moved into her home and she was having a little bit of a struggle figuring out how to style it, how to design it and I thought this was the perfect room to tackle. Now, just like last time, I'm gonna go off and come up with some inspiration and I'll be back with you in one second. Now for Mahima's bedroom, I've come up with this overall inspiration board. You can see the general vibe that we're going with. I want it to have a wall-to-wall -wall headboard, which I think would look really, really cool. Some gold accents in there for lighting as well as a really nice big statement mirror. I also think one of the huge things about this room is the fact that it has a bay window and I know that there are many DIY tutorials for turning general bay windows into seating areas. So like a nice sleek storage bench. And I definitely want her to do that in this space. And I'm also gonna recommend some wood accents as well as a few additional gold accents. And as always, I'm going to want some texture in there. So maybe a nice white textured rug, some textured wallpaper, something like that I feel like would be very, very nice. So taking that and turning it into this mood board, I'm very proud of this mood board, to be honest. You can see that it is neutral. It has subtle prints that are textured. It also has some gold lighting, that DIY headboard, wooden accents. Everything comes together in this piece to give you an overall understanding of what this space could look like. Once again, I have a Milanote board for Mahima's bedroom, and this is what you see here, but I also have original room photos, Mahima's inspiration. Those are all the cards and ideas that I previously pulled. And as you can see, I have 95 cards in there. So I pull a lot of ideas for me to come up with an end cohesive design. I am now going to mock up the full Photoshop design. Okay, so I'm back and I have Mahima's bedroom mock-ups to share with you and they're gonna come in like magic, okay? I don't know what to say. It took much more time than the magic that I'm gonna show you. So we have the first photo. And it looks a little wonky right now because I had to like adjust things to get rid of stuff. First thing we're gonna do is actually add in that wall-to-wall -wall neutral headboard, some wallpaper that is a nice subtle design and texture. And we're also going to go ahead and add in the actual bed. We're then also gonna add in some wooden bedside tables, which I found online, they're actually pretty affordable. Then we're going to also add in a nice white textured rug, which I think is lovely. And you definitely want a big rug in that type of space. After that, I decided it would be really good to have a bench at the end of the bed, just to kind of bring some of the colors together. And also a nice big statement light here. I think gold is the perfect color to go in there. Along the lines of gold light, we're going to add some of those right above the bedside tables. These are actually plug-in lights. And what I think you can do is funnel it behind the channel headboard instead of having like cords that are kind of all over the place. There you have it. View one. Moving on to view two. Um, so the first thing I'm actually gonna do is whiten the walls. Then I'm going to add back in that white rug. Also, I mentioned I wanted to do a DIY bay window bench. So I'm going to add one in right like that. After that, I'm gonna add in some nice neutral linen curtains, which I think are great. Now it looks a little bit weird here, 
Um, and the reason why is because there's no curtain rod. So I did some research and the way that you can actually install it along all those edges and actually have it connect to the side as well is by buying connectors, which you can get on Home Depot. So Google about that. Um, it's a thing and I did way too much research on different types of <laughs> window treatments that you can have for bay windows, especially ones that have a bench. Next, we're going to add back in the little light. We're also gonna add in some neutral pillows and also adding in that bench that I showed you in the previous view. Now the third angle is the wall that currently has a, a Ikea dresser. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in that whole left wall situation. Also gonna add in that little light that we, the Ceiling light, it's not little, it's big. Um, I think it would be really good to add in a nice big wood dresser. This one's from Article, but you could probably find one if you went ahead and searched on Facebook Marketplaces and then you might have to like refinish it, but it would look probably just like this at a fraction of the price. And that's probably what I would do. I'm also gonna quickly add back in that white rug. Now, Mahima previously had a TV on her dresser. So adding a TV back in for you, decorate the sides of it with a little vase and a bowl. And then the final thing is to add a nice plant on the right side of the dresser and boom, you have that wall completed. And the final angle that we have here, everything's cleared out. We're going to add back in that black doorknob, that right wall, as you can see there, the light and the rug and the bed, also adding in the bench. Okay, great. I actually think she should get a big, big statement mirror just cause I had to, here's the reflection, boom. And then the final thing I would add in here on this wall is a little area for her coats and purses and stuff like that. I noticed that it was previously hanging on her door and I feel like this would be a nice way to have it all organized. So if you're ready, here's the full reveal of the before and after of Mahima's bedroom. It is neutral and relaxing and cozy and I love it so much. I hope that she loves it. I hope that you enjoyed it coming along on this journey, learning how to go from inspiration to end design and creating a cohesive style for your room makeover. Now, I do just wanna say this video was a teensy bit deceiving because this did not just take me 18 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever to actually do. This took me like 40 hours of work at least. So I was actually doing this like all in all over a couple days and um, just wearing the same outfit <laughs> to film. But um, that's just to say that if you're finding that it takes you some time to make over your space and plan for it, don't be hard on yourself, it'll come together. Please let me know down below whether or not you enjoyed watching this type of video and whether you found it helpful to come along for this journey and see some room designs come to life. Thank you so much for watching until this point. It honestly means everything to me. If you could please make sure that you're subscribed to me and like this video, it would also really help the YouTube algorithm and I would really appreciate that. And also, once you've done that, if you could go ahead and check me out over on Instagram, I'm at DIY Delia with an underscore at the end. I'm trying to grow over there, so that would be great as well. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Milano for sponsoring today's video. I love Milano and if you wanna try them out, you can sign up for free by clicking the link in my description box. Thank you once again, and I will see you next week. Bye.